What's the biggest myth that people believe about genes and traits like intelligence or aging? Can you get into the what's the difference between you know polygenic and environmental factors that lead to different com complexity factors that we see not just in ourselves but in all species? I think one of the I'm not sure a myth. It's certainly a potential source of confusion even among scientists is that um, you can establish uh, with uh, well-known tools like genome-wide association studies, you can establish that there are, let's say, 9,000 genes involved in a polygenic trait like height. Height's one of the favorite ones because um, people collect height information and weight uh, even when they're studying some, some disease unrelated to height and weight because it's just easy to do. And, and so anyway, 9,000 genes are involved. And so you sort of say, well, that's so complicated, it's gonna be hard to predict, much less influence. Right? But in fact, there's one gene that doesn't turn up as being particularly special in those 9,000 that um, does influence it tremendously uh, in all sorts of animals and in humans at the extreme values of, of tall and small. Uh, and that's the somatotropin gene, or sometimes called the human growth hormone. And it's so powerful that, that it's actually used in seven different clinical uh, settings uh, and it works. And it's, 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 it's like part of standard medical care in these seven cases. And so, so that shows that something can can be multigenic, polygenic, and also monogenic in a very practical uh, way.